Today marks the 248th birthday of the U.S. Marine Corps, and tomorrow is Veterans Day. All happening in the same couple of days here at ABC 10 Morning News. We're shining the spotlight on local vets who sacrificed in service to our country. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo is live outside a Veterans Memorial in downtown Sacramento. So, Bridget, what does this day mean to retired service members? And you have the Marine Corps birthday all same time. Yeah, a lot going on this week, Walton. Veterans Day is a time for vets to pause and reflect on their service and sacrifice. And keep in mind, all military members have sacrificed in one way or another, whether it's time away from their family, a years of their life, some cases their limbs, or damage to their mental health. And as one local vet reminds us, it's not just those who serve in combat that make up large portions of our military. This year on Veterans Day, Richard Nielsen is looking back on his 32 years in the U.S. military. My active duty uh, was as an intelligence officer. I followed the Russians a lot, uh, so in the USSR at the time. The vast majority of people are not the war fighters. There's people behind the scenes. He first enlisted during the Vietnam War and lost friends along the way. As I think of my best friend when I was in active duty in the Navy who was shot down and killed uh, in Vietnam. So. It, that uh, that makes me very cheery. Richard says it's the service and sacrifice of the men and women in uniform that keep our country safe and free. Time has taken us away from those emergencies, except for we had 9-11. Uh, got people understanding uh, what warfare is like and how we can be attacked. There, there is a deterrent effect by, by having the best military in the world. Through the years, he says appreciation for those who serve has dwindled. I ask my... Uh, children and my grandchildren, what they think of all this, what they think of the military, and they, they have no, no concept. I, I was born in 1945, and so we were close to World War II. And when we went to school, uh, you know, I was started school at five years old. That was only five years after the war, so it was very fresh in everybody's mind. So. And this week, he's taking a moment to express gratitude for his fellow veterans and for the military career that helped shape his identity. Serving your country, serving something bigger than yourself. So that's the way I, th I think of it. And we thank all our local veterans who have served. Really appreciate everything they've done for our country. Today is the Marine Corps birthday as well. 248 years Marines are celebrating. Some of them will be coming down to the Capitol Park to take a look and pause at the memorial you see right here. And there's a lot of symbolism here. I can Chetta pointed out the letter that we talked about earlier of that soldier. But there's also a way to commemorate and honor those who were wounded in combat, gave their limbs coming up at 6 and 630. Walt, you're going to be hearing from an Elk Grove native who was shot through his head in Afghanistan. His doctors told him he'll never walk or talk again. He proved them wrong. Hear his inspirational story coming up in about 30 minutes. Walt. Okay, I think we're all looking forward to, to hearing his words too, especially on this day. Bridget, thank you.